Jeff, Arizona Hot Homestead. Today we're going to view the door of the shed. And again, my disclosure, I'm no carpenter, no architect. I'm just, just a guy trying to make it work. So I rig it up. So check out what I did. I went with the, the correlated metal to match my walls, the outside here. But look what I ended up doing. I got some hinges. So I ran the side piece here right along the edge. And you can still see some wood right there, but I'm going to stain that, so no big deal. I got a hinge, another hinge, a third hinge, and a fourth hinge. And I've tried to cover up the hinge, so I cut around here. And then I've got some caulking all down through here as well as over here. Did the same thing over here. Took two panels, so there's one, here's the second. Now, over here, I cut this out. And when I cut this out, I decided to cut it instead of putting on top of it. And then I just cocked the tar out of it. I guess that's not tar, but I cocked the caulking out of it. Does that make sense? <laughs> now, why do I have two on this top half and two on the bottom half? Well, it's because I have a split door. I'll show you that here in a second. My experience in dealing in dealing helping others and and the humidity out here sometimes and as dry as it gets out here that doors end up warping on me I don't want the door to warp so when it's closed like this it closes tighter and I don't have to worry so much about warpage but this was fun just cocking all this stuff in here now on this one I don't know why but this one here I had to put some spacers and I just put some washers right in here did the same thing down there I can only guess that because this piece here I had to fold in and because my walls are not straight that up here it just comes up to the edge it doesn't fold in so that must have made some kind of difference in the way the door closes so I needed spacers here and not up there I put a uh, 1x8 right here let's open the top half It's a little tight, just like I like it. Here's the inside framing. I just used two by threes. Now I thought about putting a cross piece on the inside here, going across. I don't know if I will or not, but I know that helps keep it from warping, but I can always do that later. The door it worked out good in the sense that because my door is, or because my building is not, there's not a right angle in this building, believe it or not, that the door automatically swings open and kind of stays open. So that's kind of nice. I don't have to fight with the door opening. We've already seen some rain and it's already, the rain has stained this a little bit because I haven't put any staining on this yet. I'll put some stain on here. I rounded the edges a little bit. I just used a five gallon bucket, set it there in the jigsaw. I did the same thing on the other side. On this piece here, I put just a couple of uh, hinges. I actually put four on each side. And then I put a lot of uh, liquid nail underneath. I tried to cut this at a slight angle so that when the water does come off of this door so when the water comes off this door here and hits this it doesn't go back there it actually comes out here so this is at a slight angle you like the squeaky door so let's open up the bottom half This one looks just like the other one. Again, I might put a cross piece. When you see I put my brackets underneath. That makes that real sturdy. It's a great beer holder. If you notice, this is what's exposed to the outside. That just happens to be a perfect fit for a beer can. And on the inside, it's also a perfect fit for a beer can when it's closed. It's like I knew what I was doing. 
Now on my door frame, I want to show you this. This is a 1x3. This is a 1x2. This is a 1x6. And I did the same thing over here. 2x2 two two and a 1x6. A lot of liquid nail. And when I framed up this door, this here is just straight flashing. Just like this guy right here. Trying to bend this, the way it to sh reflect this was pretty uh, pretty difficult because I didn't know how to do it because I didn't because this stuff actually cuts pretty easy, so I didn't want to damage it, but I wanted to make sure that it waterproofed my uh, my door seal. So this piece I just brought straight up. Liquid nailed, obviously, as much as I could. See how this piece here is part of this? That's why I think my door comes out a little. Plus, some of this right here probably pushes it out. But to do this, I ended up taking a 2x2 two two because it's a more square edge than a 2x4 is. And I just beat the, kept hitting it with a hammer. And worked it and worked it and finally got it to where it was good enough to where I could close the door and and this right here looks near perfect. Look how look look at that. It's like it was made for it. And then these are just roofing nails. There's a lot of glue underneath this thing. And then you got some wood glue here so it doesn't come up and I trip on it. But I did that all the way around. See the liquid nail coming through up there. Look at that. I didn't knock that off. But that's a 2x2 two two up there. Then on the top of my door frame, I did the same 4x4 four four edge that I used on the corners. I put it here. And I obviously bent it here so I could close my door, but it goes around so it kind of waterproofs this edge here. It tucks in here, and then I put some caulking right there. Same thing with over here, it tucks in, and I put some caulking on the other side. Above the door is my window. That's just the clear stuff. That's only one sheet. I cut, put one piece here, one piece here, and then I had a couple small pieces left over and they fit right there perfectly. A gap right here, as you can see, I'm not going to close that gap. I'm just going to leave it like it is. Water is not going to filter up in there. If it water goes uphill, I think we'd be all upside down then, wouldn't we? Up at the top, I'm going to caulk. I'm going to caulk where the plastic does meet the wood up there. I'm going to caulk that eventually. I put a couple screens. I got two screens right there. I got one right there. I got two over there. I close that one end. I close this end. Plastic closes this, and then I close that in there. So let's take a look at the inside of the door. Here's my one by six. That nail there, I don't know if you can see, this nail here, well, it started to bend on me, so I just let it be. This here's a 1x8 header. Oh, well, it just peels right off. Now, the reason why I did this was not only to give this 2x2 something to connect to, but also it gave me a more of a clean finish on the, uh, on the inside. And then over here it's the same thing, a 1x6 and the lots of glue. Now, I will say this, when I did this, what I used was a lot of these guys. Well, this one says a 12 inch. It's a Harbor Freight Special. It was only like 2 bucks or so. 
best two dollars I ever spent in my life. I got four of this size and I got four smaller ones. What do the smaller ones look like? Smaller one says eight inch. But those, along with some other ones I had, I used what? I used four, eight, I used 12 of these clamps. And what I did was when I I put everything together with no nails, no no um, glue, and let it sit for a while. And then I came back and then I went through with the liquid nail, clamped it all together, and then while it was clamped, then I went through and put nails in. So I had to be careful where I would put my clamps because if I put a clamp right here and that's where I want to put a nail, then I'd have to put a nail down here and then I have to put another one up there. If you're going to do this and you use your clamps, just make sure you've got some uh, thought as to where your nails are going to go. But the door turned out pretty good overall. What I am also going to do on the inside is I am going to use a, something like this so that when this thing closes, that one piece will go right here and keep these two together so I can use the door as one and then I'll have another clamp for each door that will clamp the door to the side here and I was thinking using something maybe like this I don't know I might use something different but this is my door I kind of like it it's at perfect height Good place for a beer can. I think the best part about this door turned out to be my door seal. I came along afterwards and I put that correlated all the way down to the ground just to give it more of a finished complete look. And then I just gotta give myself some steps to get up because that's a big step. But outside of that, door is done. Now we have to go on the inside. There's a sneak peek of what's inside. And I'll show you that when I get it all completed. So working on the shed. You know, with all this tin on this, I could call this my big tin shed or little tin shed on the homestead. I can even lock this if I want. So, beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Jeff on the Arizona Hot Homestead. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and watch the video a hundred times. <laughs> oh, love you all. Bye.